I saw Screwdriver last night. Cool. It's a fantastic watch. It's intense. It's great pacing. The acting is amazing. So how do you begin to embody these characters? Because they seem like they have so much going on. You know, I think what, what was really great about this whole experience was the way we had a rehearsal process even before like we were on set. So we got to rehearse. We got to really like me and Anna Claire and Charlie, because it's such an intimate piece. And that can be something that's kind of hard when you just show up first day and then have to go for it. So, but we really got to like know each other, work with each other, you know, get the chemistry right and, you know, have Cairo direct us. And it was really interesting because, you know, we, we rehearsed it all, we blocked it all so that we'd be ready to go on set. But then of course you get on set and it's a different set than you kind of had imagined it was gonna be. So then it would all kind of play out differently, but because we had that like kind of rooted, grounded, like just chemistry, it, it, it always just flowed. Uh, how important is it to have that relationship with your cast members? Cause this gets into some pretty uncomfortable spaces. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, like, again, I mean, I, I, I think it's not, a, you don't always get that. And it's such a gift when you do get that. And when you get somebody like Cairo, who, you know, is like, he, he creates such a safe space. And, and the, what was great about this entire sort of experience was that everybody, you know, it did feel like family, like, like everybody felt equal, like the crew felt equal, the cast, the director, he created this sense of like, everybody's really important and everybody's invested. And so I think that created such a safe space that it allows you to kind of really go there as an actor. And, um, and of course, like having other amazing actors to work off of, having an amazing director to really guide you, like these things were all crucial, I feel like in this, you know, and why I love this project so much and why I feel like it's so successful. Definitely, and I, I've been praising Cairo for the last couple of interviews. He, he has such a passion. Uh, how I, I, for you as an actor, um, how do you feed off of that? How, how, you know, how important is it to have a director like that? I mean, it, again, it's like, you know, in, in this industry, you never know what you're going to get. Some directors are so focused on the shot, you know, and, you know, there's so much going on when you get to set and they have so many things that they have to deal with. But Cairo, I think because of the rehearsal process and because of who he is, he's He's very, he's a, he has such interesting juxtapositions in his personality. He can be so analytical, but also so emotional. And it's such a great trait to have in a director because, you know, he'll give you the freedom to play, but he also knows what he wants. So, you know, he'll be like, again, 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 okay, got it. Or you do it once and he's like, okay, got it. So he knows what he wants. And, and again, like you just feel like you are in good hands and you can relax and just do do what you're there to do for your part you have to switch between being the the, the nice tender person and being very strict uh which was your uh, your favorite part to play was it the strict or was it the softness oh my gosh i think the reason i, I love this character is because you get to play both you know you mm -hmm. you get to sort of well villains are great to play i mean i i I and mean, of course, like when you're when you're in it, you're not thinking I'm not thinking of her as a villain. I'm thinking of her as like, you know, I've got to shape these people. I, I need to protect them. I need to like help them grow and, you know, uh, be the people that I know they can be. And, you know, that's kind of how I'm thinking of it when I'm in the in the character. But kind of from an outside standpoint, you know, you, you know, you can kind of go, oh, well, she's maybe the villain of the piece. And it's so great to play that because with villains, there are flaws that are inherent in the character. And so, you know, if you're playing a good guy, often you, you know, the, the flaws aren't on the page. And I feel like that can be harder to bring to the page. But with a villain, you know, with me, it's like, I get to, I see the flaws on the page and then I get to bring that warmth and I get to bring that tenderness and really try to make her, you know, a, a well-rounded character. Mm -hmm. Uh, Kara said that this was such a fast shoot that everybody just needed to be on task. Did that bring any stress or any pressure for you as an actress? Listen, I love me some some pressure and some stress. I feel like that, like 
like that kind of pressure cooker makes me perform better. You know, I, I, I like that. I like the urgency. I like having to get it in one take. Like it, it just really focuses me. So I kind of like it. That's awesome. And uh, you have to, not only do, do you have a lot of uh, dialogue with Charlie, but there's also a lot of stares and looks that you guys exchange. Um, how did you prepare for that? Because a lot is said with just a couple of looks here and there. Yeah, I mean, I, I think just being in the moment for the whole scene. You know, I, I, it was no extra preparation or anything. It's just a matter of just really being present, you know, when, you know, they're speaking, when you're speaking. And I think what's really interesting about this film is the way it's edited, you know, with Cairo and the editor, so much of what, it's like the people who are speaking are not often the ones on camera, which I just think is so interesting and so fascinating. And, and it really shows you how present everyone was for the, for the whole film. And, it, and it's such a great, it's just such a great take on the story. You just don't always get to see that. You normally just get to see the people who are talking and occasionally get a reaction shot. But so much of this is staying on the person who's not speaking. I love that. Definitely. And um, uh, I've been hearing a lot that so while you guys were shooting, you guys were concentrating on, on your part so much that when you're watching it, you capture all these different nuances that you didn't catch when you were filming. Has that been the, the same for you? Interesting question. Um, I mean, not even something I would have ever considered. I, Cause I, would, I wouldn't really say that I'm thinking about what I'm doing or, you know, I'm thinking about like, how I'm portraying myself. I mean, I, I'm probably just like, I, if, if I'm in it and I, and I feel like I was in it so much because Anna Claire and, and Charlie are so great. I'm just thinking about what the character's thinking about and, you know, living through it. Definitely. And uh, this is, this screwdriver will be at the closing of Dances with Films, which is on its 25th year, which is at the Chinese theater. How does that make you feel? It, I, I'm so happy. I am so proud. I'm so excited to share this with my friends and the public. And, you know, we, we've got a lot of people coming um, for the premiere. And yeah, I, I'm just, I'm just really excited, really excited that this film is going to be seen by more people because it's, it's such a great piece. I really love it. It definitely is. Um, thank you very much for your time. You did a fantastic job. You, you. are, you definitely helped an audience of uh, have that suspension of, of disbelief and really emerge themselves into this movie. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.